everyone, welcome back to another video. And today I'm going to show you how to install Monitor Dinos Online. If you already saw a Wolf Online, Wolf Online how to install a mod video, you'll notice that this is different. That's because instead of my other tablet, I'm using my main tablet because I have not installed a mod I like to download online here yet, which I just upload, which I just download day actually. So to start off, and I also have a different file manager here. So if you've seen the Wolf Online one, it's pretty much the same thing, but if you haven't, this is how you do it. Unlike my little tablet, I have a convenient file manager already in my device right here that you can use easily. So you're going to want to go to your device storage, that's the case here, Android. You're going to want to hit OB. You're going to find Dials Online. And you're going to rename it. Just put R on the end of web, that's what everybody's doing. So now we're going to want to uninstall Dials Online. Okay, it works differently here actually. I've got to go here. Seriously, if you've seen my Wolf Online mod video, yeah, things are pretty different here. There we go, I have installed, uninstalled. And now I already downloaded the mod, so in order to download the mod, you have to go to a, you have to go to a YouTube video, and you can find the link, you can hit the link, and there should be a download. And after you download it, you want to hit cancel. So because if you install an update to the existing application, it will call it, it won't work. So basically, now you're going to install, as you can see here, the mod you just downloaded. And I hope this doesn't take too long, because it always takes a long time on this tablet. My little tablet's a lot faster than my big tablet, I don't know why. Okay, good. Didn't fail. I was so afraid I was going to fail. So just hit done because it's not going to start at all. Um, it won't work unless you fix this part right here. You're going to go back to your file manager, Android, uh, rename Dials Online again, just remove the R or letter. And there you go, you have your mod. Just make sure there are some requirements for this. Like Wolf Online, you need a Android or similar device and the latest version of well you need a mod for the latest version if the mod is not for the latest version of Dials Online or Wolf Online whatever it's not going to start and that's pretty much all you need to know just going to check things out make sure it works on here if it doesn't I'll just get a new one so you can see the version the bottom corner over there that's also in Wolf Online, so if you want to know what version it is, you can check that, or you can just go to Google Play and check what version it's on. And then you can look up mods for that version, and there should be plenty of them. Yep, there we go, it's working. This is the Majestic mod, by the way. I've already tried two different mods. The first one is Diamond Mod, okay. Made you IMO, and I like that. Sorry for not. Or emo, I don't know. I'm just going to call it invincible because I like that better, and I know how to pronounce it correctly. In the second mod, um, I'm not going to say it because I forgot. It was supposed to make me invincible, but it didn't. So I'm just going to try to find a mod that can make me invincible. And this is my dinosaur, by the way. So before I was named my dinosaur Fox, if you've seen somebody named Fox, that would be me. I'm not going to do any special with the text right now. Just going to put, um, Goldfire Fox with nothing special for now. Uh, later on I might do some stuff, change it. I don't know if I can change it yet without resetting, but okay, I'll just reset, start things all over. And I'll have the special text ready. I like how I have it with Wolf Online. I'm not very familiar with Dials Online, see, so I still got some stuff to figure out with this game. And it's very different with Wolf Online, actually. Very interesting. 
It seems I'm invincible. But like the other mom, I'm going to have to figure it out for sure. If none of these mods just don't work, just going to go back to the boring di diamond mod. Because even though it's boring, there's nothing special that's special about it. It makes me invincible. And that's the only thing that matters. Because I hate being killed by everybody else. All these other modders just, just want to kill me. It gets annoying. I hate to wolf online for quite some time because of the modders. And I just couldn't enjoy it at all anymore. And I was, it was very sad. But now that I know how to mod, I can finally just make myself invincible, explore the game without being killed every second, and enjoy it, which I'm doing right now, because on the diamond mod, I just explored the area pretty much, and all these diamonds just kept on trying to kill me. But you know what? They couldn't kill me, because I had no health meter. Even a bunch of modders that went after me could not kill me. So in order to test out to see if this is actually working, I usually go to a non-player enemy and see if it kills me or not. And to make sure the invincibility actually stays, I'll just go to the new servers and stuff to see if it's still there. Yeah, there's there's um blood, so I don't know if that's really the case. There's a diamond mod is the only one that's actually um invincible. I'm going to um not like that very much. See, when you're invincible and Wolf Online and Diamond Mod, there's no blood. The green stuff. So, I don't really know if there's supposed to be the green stuff, you know. And you won't die anyway. Because a mod did... But the monitors can still kill you. So, I'm not really um, certain about that being very good. I think someone's chasing me. Oh yeah, it's that one. Yeah, it seems to work. Guess I can just try out this mod, and if a modder happens to kill me, I'll just get rid of it. Like the second one, try out some different mods, and if nothing works out, so besides diamond mod, I'm going to be like, okay, I'll just go back to diamond mod, because even though it took forever to get that one, to... Me being invincible, it actually works, no blood and all that stuff. Pretty much, um, I recommend you just modding Wolf Online, playing Wolf Online instead, because Dinos Online here is really confusing with this modding stuff, unfortunately. And you see, you don't really know if you're invincible, I just have to wait for a modder or something. See, there's a health in there. See, this is what I don't like happening. Uh, the diamond mod wasn't so tricky, but these other mods I was trying out was like this. Okay, diamond mod was tricky with the health meter, but I eventually just had to level this up enough, and it finally went invincible. But it took, like, 30 minutes, because if I do this too much, it'll crash. Yeah, I tried just repeatedly just doing this, just tapping it, and it eventually it made some weird sounds, and the whole thing crashed, and when I tried to restart it, it just froze on the beginning screen, which was a black screen, and I had to reset it for it to work again, and I don't really want to repeat that. But this is what I was doing for the diamond while I was just doing this until the mirror disappeared, and apparently I was invincible at last. Hopefully I can do it with this mod too, because it seems more exciting. Well, at least on YouTube, it seemed more exciting. But yeah, if this one betrays me too, I'm just going to go back to the diamond mod and do that other thing again. But why not? Yeah, you see, after I did this, it just went back to the health meter. And I was kind of mad. Because I like, just did this forever and it helps me. The entire thing just comes back. Actually, I want, I want to show you what happens if I do this too much. But I think I'm just going to do that on my little tablet. I really don't want to mess with my big tablet right now. And the little tablet is kind of the guinea pig. And the big and my main tablet here is like I don't want to mess with it that much. Because my main tablet and everything's on it. Okay, so it seems like it's getting smaller, yeah. 
So this is basically what happens when you level up your health too much. The game just kind of um, thinks that you um, have no health at all, but nothing can kill you because you're... Well, I don't really know. It's just like an overflow of numbers or something. And it causes things that are weird to happen. Like, my health meter gain lower and lower, but my dinosaur not dying because nothing's killing it. So eventually on Diamond Maw, yes, it starts to go down like you see here. Once it starts going down, it should be invincible because that's what it did for the Diamond Mod. So I'm not sure if it applies this mod too. So let's check things out. There's a wasp bug thing. Bite me. Yeah, it's still blood. The Diamond Mod didn't show any blood, so I don't know. You can tell me how these things work in Dinos Online. Really, I would really appreciate it because I don't want to be randomly killed by another hacker. But yeah, when it starts going down like this, and the number starts decreasing, it should be invincible. At least for the Diamond Mod. Oh yeah, I found it's just not working, you know, because I mean, there's still blood and... I don't know if there really is supposed to be because Wolf Online there isn't, Diamond Mod there wasn't, well, if I just find out that it's not working and nothing else works, I'm just going to go back to the Diamond Mod and that would be that. I guess all for this video, pretty much the same thing if you want to install a Dino's Online mod, you just, all you have to do is... All I have to do is simply just rename the ob file and then do all the other stuff. And I'll eventually record a mod that I really like. I'm probably going to record the diamond mod because I do like that. It's boring like the player mod of Wolf Online, but it works. It actually does what you want it to. Unlike these other mods. So yeah, I'm going to try that. It's going to see how this mod works, and if it really doesn't end up very well, I'm not actually going to keep it. Oh yeah, there's the poison mod. You have a health. You have a health meter. This mod actually. I think my game is freezing. This one's probably going to kill me. <laughs> Isn't it funny? I I have no health meter, but I could probably still die. And this one here has a health meter and. Actually, yeah, I think I'm going to be kicked out because, oh wait, that, wait, it Wolf Online, um, non-player characters also freeze when you freeze, but in here, I mean, that dinosaur over there still is moving, unlike this one. I don't really know if I'm freezing or not. Okay, doesn't seem that I'm having blood coming out anymore. Unless that's just because the game is still for- wait. Okay, um, okay, that one's biting me, and the T-Rex in the background is still going. Um, I don't see this one here can hurt me. No, no blood. Okay, so basically it just takes a while to go on. I really don't understand these small downs online. I'm more, um, into the Wolf Online stuff, because Wolf Online is more- I think I did kill the Poison Modder, I don't really know. Yeah, no, no blood. Okay, so I guess if I see the poison monitor, I'll just kill him again because. Oh, never mind. Um, let's see if I can actually kill this one. This is the poison. He keeps on doing that. I don't know if that if his connection is bad or it's me. It's probably me. Wait, it is his connection or her connection because non-player characters are still moving. Um, yeah, I think I, I think I did kill the poison monitor. Yeah. You see, I, I don't actually like mods where, I mean, you see what happened, what I did. I killed a monitor with a health meter, which I, you can also do in Wolf Online. That's why I don't like the mods with the health meters and stuff, because an other mod is just going to kill you anyway. 
And, but if you don't have a health meter and you don't have any health, you can choose to be peaceful or choose to kill others. If you want to be peaceful, just explore, happily explore, and the monitors will just go and try to bite you, but it won't work. That's usually me. That's me getting tired of being killed while I'm trying to do something. So well, yeah, looking, it's looking really good now. I don't really know what happened. I guess after a while it'll kick in that you're invincible and the blood will stop coming out. But yeah, uh, later on I guess I'll understand Dino Online mods more than I am right now. And the Majestic mod will be funner because I know from the video that I can have pets and stuff. I don't really know that's going to apply to me though. But the video said I could have pets, so I don't know. Let's try out these different mods and seeing what works. So yeah, I didn't get killed by the poison mod. I actually killed the poison mod, right? I think um Yeah, he left. I'm not surprised. So yeah, that's all for the video. It seems to be working now. I might try out some different mods when I get bored of this stuff. And so the, and if I find a really good mod that shows up, I'll just want to try it out see if it works. But for now, I'm just going to keep this mod. But if I randomly die with this mod, I'm going to go back to the diamond mod maybe. Or just find a new one in the end. And maybe I'll finally understand how these mods with Dials Online, Dials Online works more. Because once again, I'm more used to... Wolf Online right here. I still have my rainbow, the rainbow mod, which is the main mod I'm using until it gets updated, which hopefully won't get updated too soon because I really like it. But maybe the person who made the mod will hopefully make a mod for the next version once there's an update, which hopefully there isn't for a long time. But knowing about but. Considering the fact that the changes that were made to Wolf Online are pretty big, because I still remember Wolf Online when pets not exist, the Black Tiger not exist, and the, I don't think the Snow Guardian existed. And since those big changes just came out of nowhere, it could probably be updated pretty fast. And hopefully, when that's the case, there'll be a rainbow mod for the next version. If there isn't, I'll just find a new main mod. And that's all for the video. I hope I have better luck with these Downs Online mods, because I do like how big the world is compared to Wolf Online. I want to actually explore the whole thing about being killed every two seconds by some other monitor that's completely random and just comes out of nowhere. And I hope you know how to install mods for both Wolf Online and Dials Online now because once again it's pretty much the same thing. Let's make sure that you're renaming the correct update and stuff. And that's all for the video. Hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you in the next one. Might also make a Donald's Online video because I'm actually starting to like the game. And I just hope these mods work out. So, bye!